Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon, a.k.a. Debruzzinator. You can catch me on TikTok. You can catch me on Twitch. You can catch me on Instagram. So make sure you check out those other spots, too. It's at Debruzzinator. And also, if you've been enjoying the videos I've been putting out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does a lot for me, so I appreciate it. But let's get into what we're going to talk about today, and it's Treat Life's smart nightlight. So without further ado, you know what to do. Let's get lit. So here we have Treat Life's smart nightlight. It's actually a pretty cool little nightlight. I know what you're thinking. Night lights are night lights are for kids. But I, I dare you to take a look at this. I think this does a little bit better than your normal kid night light. So essentially what you'll get in the box, which I don't have with me right now. I forgot to bring it downstairs. You get this is your night light, your smart night light. And there's your little grippers there. Here's your power button. It looks very, it's very simplistic. It's a nice, it's a nice design. It's very simplistic, all white. You got your charging port back here. Um, also in the box, you only get like two things. You get the, or three things. You get the instructions, the nightlight, and you get your charging cable, which is USB and micro USB. There you go. So, and that's also in white to accentuate the white color. But how this works, it's actually very simple. Um, you have an app, you sync it to your app, which was very easy. I'll actually show you in a little bit, a little screen recording of me using the app and me using this. But it has basically two fun, well, more than two functions. Um, it's got lights, it's got a different range of lights. So it's RGB, so it goes through all the colors that you want. Uh, you also have scenes. You also have biorhythm. With biorhythm, what that is, is you basically get set it up, from my understanding, to do a certain color at a certain time to go with your biorhythm. So when you're going to bed, you might have a, a dark red or, or something kind of where it doesn't brighten up the whole entire room, but it's enough to where you can kind of see around and don't stub your toe on the bed. I know y'all know what I'm talking about with the stubbing your toe on the bed. Yes. So... Uh, it definitely helps with that. And then like sunrise, let's say it does like a warm color to kind of wake you up in the morning. And this is capable of doing that. And you can set that. You can also set a timer on it. Uh, you can also set the scenes on it. So they have different scenes. It's not as crazy as the scenes as I could have imagined. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the starlight, which I gave to my daughters, which by the way, not shouldn't tell you this but I think it was actually just crap afterwards so that's my final review on that but back to this uh, but this hard plastic I feel like if I dropped it on concrete it would probably break but I'm careful uh, but it's a nice design it goes really well with like if you put it on your nightstand or something like that or your bedside table it fits perfectly and since it's all white it just flows. It just flows whatever room color you have. It won't stand out like a sore thumb. Um, and adjusting the lights on it is very, very easy. Using the app on it is very, very easy. Very self-explanatory. Uh, if you're not using the light or the, the app, hit the power button, it turns on. All right, let me show you the light. Here it is. Look at that beautiful color there. And as it changes, it's just nice little pink. It's not too crazy. It actually just goes really well. And it has different colors. This is just right now. This is the color we have going. But as you can see, it looks nice. The whole thing lights up, which is amazing. Um, I thought it was maybe just a section, but it's the whole thing. It almost reminds me of like a candle, essentially. But yeah, this is that. 
and let me show you what the app looks like. Hang tight. All right, so now we're in the app and you go through the app like this. This is your power button. Then when you go in the app, you can actually change the colors to whatever you want it to be. And then you can have a dimmer. So that's basically this, or you could change the color this way. So if you want it colorful over here, if you want it more light, you come over here. If you want your scenes, you have your night, your read, your working, your leisure, your soft, your colorful, your dazzling, and your gorgeous. And music, I forgot to tell you about this part. The music part, I got excited for it, was kind of disappointed, but I kind of wasn't disappointed. And let me explain. The reason why I was disappointed was that I thought music came out of the actual nightlife, it's nightlight itself. And it doesn't, it doesn't have speakers. So I was kind of disappointed in that aspect. But what they've done is if you play music, let's say you play Spotify from your phone, when you go to bed, all you have to do is hit start and it's gonna recognize through your microphone what music's being played and it'll change the colors according to that song. Is it accurate? Sort of. But what did it make a cool light show? Yeah, it did. So that could be something like if you're having a party and you have a bunch of these, you could have them all around your house. You can control multiple ones, I believe. I'd have to double check on that, but you could control and just flicker the lights and have the music playing and everyone sees all the lights keep changing and it'll be really cool. Then you got your more, which your plan, your schedule, your timer, and this rhythms is what I was talking about, the bio rhythm. You could set it up to where it goes to different settings at different times so you have like night light wake up you can just change it around how you want uh, you have your plan so you can plan for it you have your schedule and you have your timer which that should be self-explanatory and other than that I mean that's pretty much you have your smart area so you can actually automate it so it can control, see, execute automatically according to conditions, such as weather, device status, and time. And you can do tap to run, control multiple devices in one tap or by using AI enabled speakers through voice commands. So that means you can use your Amazon Alexa, you can use your Google speakers to actually automate and tell it to turn it on, turn it off, change the color, and, and so forth. So that is the app. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. So not too much to explain there. So as you can see through that screen recording, the app is not too hard to use. It's very simplistic, which is nice. It's not over, it's not convoluted with a whole bunch of jargon you don't understand. It's made very simple for you to get everything done on it. Um, other than that, there's not much more to say. I do enjoy it. I do use it. Um, it's working out great. I don't stub my toe anymore on the bed, which really, really sucks when you do. And it's kind of soothing. It's kind of nice to have that little light in the background. So if you ever get a chance, I will have the link in the description below if you want to pick one up yourself. And always, as always, make sure you subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Put some comments down below if you have it yourself or you're interested in buying it and you want to tell me how the journey has been for you, put them down below. I'd love to hear them, love to reply back. You guys take care, and as always, stay lit.